enough, I could eat a bloody horse. Well, Sheehan's place, you probably will. <laughs> Now the frontier wit, I see. One of the most cinematic games ever made had to get its inspiration from somewhere. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies you should watch if you liked Red Dead Redemption 2. That weapon will replace your tongue. You will learn to speak through it. And your poetry will now be written with blood. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at films with themes, characters, and storylines that parallel Rockstar's hit Western game. Number 10. There Will Be Blood This modern masterpiece from Paul Thomas Anderson is one of the few films on our list that doesn't necessarily classify as a conventional Western. There's a whole ocean of oil under our feet! No one can get at it except for me! Its American frontier setting, complex characters, and cool-blooded tone are perfectly in sync with Red Dead Redemption, however. Strangely enough, There Will Be Blood begins in 1898, one year prior to the events of Red Dead Redemption 2, and continues into 1911, the same year John Marston's adventure took place. The original game even paid homage to this 2007 film, naming an oil drilling camp after Daniel Plainview, a role that brought actor Daniel Day-Lewis an Academy Award. We wonder how a boss fight against Plainview would play out. I am the third revelation! I am the third revelation! Number 9. The Searchers Virtually every modern Western has drawn inspiration from The Searchers, and the Red Dead Redemption games are no exception. I can whoop you to a frazzle. During the genre's early days, heroes and villains were often synonymous with white and black hats, respectively. The symbolism started to fade out as characters grew more three-dimensional, though, and few Western icons have more depth than Ethan Edwards. Played by the legendary John Wayne, Ethan is the hero of this John Ford classic, although he doesn't always come off as very heroic. He's a vengeful bigot with hostile tendencies, but is also dedicated to his kin. Like John Marston or Arthur Morgan, Ethan's flawed nature is exactly what makes him such an intriguing protagonist. What do you want me to do? Draw your picture? Spell it out? Don't ever ask me. As long as you live, don't ever ask me more. Number 8. The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. 50, 100, 200, 300. Just as money plays a key component in Red Dead Redemption 2, a lust for riches acts as a driving force in this brilliantly written neo-western. Ever seen anything that looked like pay dirt? No. I have a hunch there's loads of the real goods up in those mountains. Humphrey Bogart and Tim Holt star as Dobbs and Curtin, respectively, two down on their luck drifters, who join an old prospector on a gold expedition. Friends become enemies as greed turns into paranoia, sending Dobbs down a dark path. An exceptional ensemble piece with an Oscar-winning performance from Walter Huston, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre is one of the first U.S. films to be shot outside of the country. Like the Red Dead Redemption games, the rich Western setting adds another layer of atmosphere to the narrative. If you're the police, where are your badges? Badges? We ain't got no badges. We don't need no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking badges! Number 7. Tombstone if you enjoyed the dynamics between Arthur Morgan and his fellow gang members, then Tombstone should be right up your alley. Take a good look at him, Mike, because that's how you're gonna end up. This rousing western assembles one of the finest casts the genre has to offer, with Kurt Russell as Wyatt Earp, Sam Elliott as Virgil Earp, and Val Kilmer in arguably his best performance as Doc Holliday. While the film's portrayals of these real-life figures can feel romanticized, the camaraderie they share never feels anything less than genuine. No, make no mistake. It's not revenge she's after. It's a reckoning. The shootouts may draw us in, but it's the endearing characters that keep us coming back to Tombstone. By the way, have you ever noticed the resemblance between Dutch Vanderlind and Curly Bill Brocious? Well. Bye. Number 6. True Grit Although nothing can diminish the original film's status as a classic, the Coen brothers' take on Charles Portis's novel improved upon its predecessor with stronger character development and more visual flair, not to mention an all-around grittier tone. I mean to kill you in one minute, Ned! Or see a hang in Fort Smith at Judge Parker's convenience. Which will you have? Just when you thought the Western was dead, 2010's True Grit reminded audiences just how gripping the genre could be. 
turning in a film that was cool enough for modern audiences while still being timeless enough for older viewers. I'm grown old. Interestingly enough, both True Grit and Red Dead came out the same year, meaning that while one was breathing new life into the Western on the silver screen, the other one was achieving the same on the gaming front. yards at least. Number 5. Unforgiven Unforgiven stands out as the only film on our list to win the Best Picture Oscar, which is reason enough to check it out. It's a hell of a thing killing a man. You take away all he's got, and all he's ever gonna have. For Red Dead fans in particular, the film's protagonist draws many parallels to the likes of John Marston and Arthur Morgan. Clint Eastwood directs himself as William Money a retired outlaw who wishes to leave his life of crime behind and raise his children in peace. He's persuaded to come out of retirement for one last job, pitting him against a sadistic lawman played by Gene Hackman. With strong themes of revenge and redemption, Unforgiven was Eastwood's final western, and he couldn't have gone out on a higher note. That's right. I've killed women and children. Killed just about everything that walks or crawled at one time or another. Number 4. Django The D is silent. You've undoubtedly heard of Django Unchained, but only the most dedicated cinephiles are aware that Quentin Tarantino's 2012 film was inspired by this spaghetti western. Franco Nero is the epitome of badass as Django, a wandering gunslinger who winds up in the middle of a conflict between red shirts and revolutionaries. While it was released in 1966, Django is brutal, even by contemporary standards. Although the graphic imagery initially garnered criticism, Today, the film is celebrated for its stylized violence. Can you hear this? Django himself is among the genre's most fascinating characters, possessing a death wish so strong that he drags a coffin everywhere. Speaking of which, Rockstar gave a nod to this image in Red Dead Revolver. Number 3. The Great Silence Django isn't Sergio Corbucci's only spaghetti western that inspired Tarantino. The Great Silence was one of the primary influences behind The Hateful Eight. Well, I guess that makes this one fortuitous wagon. I sure as hell hope so. Likewise, you can definitely see how this film's cold, unforgiving landscape might have had an impact on certain portions of the Red Dead Redemption games. The film's protagonist, who's nicknamed Silence, prefers to let his gun do all the talking. I've been waiting a long time for an amusing day like this. While he doesn't speak as much as Arthur Morgan or John Marston, all three share a stoic, morally conflicted nature in common. Much like a video game, The Great Silence has several alternate endings, shot at the request of the producers, although these were ultimately ditched in favor of Corbucci's original. Number 2. The Man With No Name Trilogy when people think of the Spaghetti Western, the first thing that usually comes to mind is Sergio Leone's Man With No Name series, also known as the Dollars Trilogy. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Perfect number. Isn't three the perfect number? Mm, yeah, I got six more bullets in my gun. With each film centering on Clint Eastwood's nameless cowboy, the Western genre wouldn't be what it is today without a fistful of dollars, for a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. From the mysterious protagonist to the uncompromising violence, to the beautifully shot Western landscapes, this franchise's fingerprints are all over the world of Red Dead Redemption. It's only fitting that Rockstar paid tribute at a graveyard where a tombstone dedicated to a cowboy with no name can be found. Every gun makes its own tune. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. One more crack about the Irish, Mr. Lamb, and I'll shoot you. Am I clear? Oh, it's the waters of Ennis, sir. Let us drink then to the Irish. No finer race of men have ever peeled a potato. Well, it's what people know about themselves inside that makes them afraid. Used to be, could no one sneak up on Jesse James? Now you think otherwise. I ain't never seen you out your guns, neither. Number 1. The Wild Bunch 
Red Dead Redemption 2 is essentially the video game equivalent of this epic western, which strikes the ideal balance of thrilling action and poignant character moments. We're gonna stick together just like it used to be. When you side with a man, you stay with him, and if you can't do that, you're like some animal. You're finished. We're finished. Both tales open with a robbery that doesn't entirely go according to plan, forcing a gang of outlaws to go on the run with bounty hunters and lawmen hot on their trails. In addition to featuring the same hard-hitting violence, the use of slow-motion techniques demonstrated in The Wild Bunch is reminiscent of the Deadeye mechanic that's become a staple of the Red Dead games. Above all else, both succeed in making the audience sympathize with anti-heroes, leaving us wanting to see them find freedom and redemption. What are your plans? Drift around down here? Try to stay out of jail? Well, me and the boys here... <laughs> We got some work to do. You want to come along? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.